God fed us breadcrumbs to live off a minimum? Rent sitting off a black skin to be your white too? Corinthians missing from 66 versions? Mary Poppins still claims to be a virgin mobile, steering with nowhere drunk, all powers and red rum? Eve remains unsung in the patriarch? While homophobia rise from the graveyard? I be tired, y'all. I be tired, y'all. Seeing the same demons behind different faces. Anger issues with happiness while I chase it. Down these dark tunnels echoing that crash talk. 21 floating savages hold red balloons, fear exhaust. How much it costs? How much it costs? Here's some tokens for some wise thoughts eating away your innocence. Dancing kings sing some horrors, making it hard to be vulnerable in this minstrel. White folks don't get Ivan Illich playing victim with good intentions. Admittedly done that amongst my male privilege. And took them to risk the tears off the blood of my sacrifices. Wiper right in the fiction, strange drip fruition at the root of U.S. as children. Hands baby raised in drunken fate. Staggering ditty box across Johnny's plank. Double D's in a fight club holding threes. Jaw breaking, bad greed and lust for 25 cents. An extra quarter get you meaning men dying of paranoia. Ripping off the wings of Malcolm or vultures. Black boy fly no matter how controversial. Every time I've been in love, I ain't never been sober. Too high to comprehend infliction and realize my enemies is human. Therefore, underestimating the necessities of forgiving me. Too afraid to be in love. Too afraid to be vulnerable with my mother, my father, my brothers, my sister. Too afraid to burn these bridges and use the ashes for comfort. But I'm never too afraid to bring the mother ruckus when my name is spoken. Too afraid to change too much of the same as a groundhog inferior to mountain tops I dived off. Caution as an imposter descended Rome and feminist ideology. The toxicity in my intimacy reeks of BET uncut. And holding call fields, tip drills, fetishizing conversations under mud. Hope to be escorted to a place amongst the touch because time and time again, this world has not shown where I belong aside from entertainment. Or I pimp my soul for the relation to your see. I'd rather live in sin if it meant to be authentic. Lies led to lynches till smoke emits from false whistles that blow to avalanche tornadoes amongst a Jumanji fable never rated by a Karen. Screamish towards bloodshed when it's not there, it's looking on the concrete, dripping from batons, covered by rubber bullets. This the Gil Scott apocalypse of unrest poets. Nah, we can't get along. If America gotta die for us to be free, then so long. Welcome to the Terror Dome. Yo. So, my name is Chris Siders. I'm from South Central Los Angeles. Um, yeah, went to school in Monterey Bay. I'm a little awkward, but it's cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing spoken word since December 2009. Uh, I also rap and I produce, I engineer. I'm just a creative. I do a lot of creative stuff. I directed, I directed a few plays, and I was in a few plays. So yeah, I'm just always making something creative. So uh, with that being said, this next piece is it's a bit heavy. This time last year, I actually had COVID and I actually almost passed away from COVID. Uh, I was in a, a hospital for a week. And when I was released on my discharge papers, they said that uh, my respiratory system fell and I had pneumonia. So looking at that, I really not supposed to be here. And, and I thank God every day. And that's when I became an even firm believer in my spirituality that God got me through. So, um, I'll kind of explain more after the piece of the long-term effects of COVID and whatnot. And, hey, yo, shout out to my man, Gavin, over there, though, because, like, confidently lost. <laughs> like, that really did touch me. That, that explained my life for the past 10 years. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, man, you, you really had me in tears, man. Like, like, because... <sighs> Yeah, you'll hear everything in this next piece. So it's called Pink, White, and Blue. God awaited for the day I showed up on their footstep, empty-handed to present their face. Pink, white, blue. Job once said, 
Naked I came from my mother's womb and naked I shall return. Adjourned under the same roof, written house maintained with black bodies used as the foundation of place, a wooden table. Where Lana Del Rey attempts to sing the same octave as Hughes, we as black people can never stop running in Aubrey's shoes above underground. The earth waves. As mother water breaks levees with every lad drawn out the chamber, secrets flag near long curves mirroring Edward Norton as Derek Chauvin or Vineyard C. American history repeats. Present day is like 1918 means 81 collided with 92. A new celebrity in chief against blacks die on camera with nothing to prosecute in this realm but our past fabricated in spangled banners carried by military death coach chanting bullets to retrieve Uncle Sam's debt. Greed with the injured looted black bodies for profit, skinning us for the desire of their wallets, raping and killing our fathers. So mother up Target, mother up Amazon, mother up Walmart, mother up your church or fly coffee shop. I got beef with your local police department. You said up the police as a trend, and I actually look. It. Holding my father at gunpoint, making my mother watch. I was followed home by the intent to put cocaine in me and my brother's pockets. It's America that taught me how to kill when disrespected. It's America that taught me how to lie, cheat, and steal by any means to correct the facade that somehow mountains are being moved by being a patriot. Over half a million dead, and we still have the nerve to question the point of it all like a bad Disney Channel special. Mm. I'm truly at a loss of words. Six feet apart, three people to every other row. Only 30 people allowed in total at my brother's funeral. I grieved in my anxiety to believe that death lingers around the corner, literally living down the street where 18 year old Andreas Gardado was gunned down by police. I found peace in my negative energies, eventually catching COVID, coughing up blood in my toilet, going to the ER, unable to focus with extreme fatigue and eternal bleeding for the first seven hours, getting punctured repeatedly till two in the morning. Collapsed in the middle of the floor, rushed to the ICU, got this offer shock therapy in case my heart stops beating. We're learning how to breathe as I watched Brianna Taylor's killers walk free. Again, feel weak. Strapped to the bed, unable to move. After I poop, black liquid would come out. The nurses would have to wipe me down. Served the same red, jello, and ice chips for three meals a day, watching The Price is Right, <laughs> Young and the Restless, and more protests. As doctors struggled to get more blood out of me. My heart rate is over 200, thinking about my cousins, thinking about the pain of a black father struggling with the thoughts of burying his own son, the pain of a black mother unable to shield her child because somehow I always felt that I deserved this. Numb to the fingers gripping my body, silent shrouds over, seeing nothing but pink, white, blue, God. So, um, keeps going back to that concept of confidently lost. Um, because before that incident, um, I believe in manifestation. So, in the concept of religion. Before that, uh, the world was in turmoil with all the riots and the uprisings and and whatnot. I was listening to Me Against the World on repeat by Tupac. I'm pretty sure everybody knows, y'all know Tupac. Just being the man don't want no introduction. But, <laughs> so there's two particular songs that I was listening to a lot called If I Die Tonight and Death Around the Corner. For some reason, like I kept that on repeat every single day. And in a sense, I kind of manifested that. I was in a really dark place. I lost my brother in March um, to an overdose. You know. And before that, just surviving homelessness, sexual assault. And, um, I was just trying to find my own way and just confidently lost. And now with God, um, life is getting better. It's definitely getting better. And 
I just encourage everybody to, you know, connect with spirit. Whatever spirit means to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be God or our version of, you know, God is in like Christianity. Just connect the spirit. I can't stress that enough. So, whew, okay. With that being said, um, this next piece is my last piece. It's a little bit lighter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so this next piece is actually 10 years old. Um, I've written this in 2011 for a Valentine's. And like, I was so nervous about it to where like, I kind of like, written it from the perspective of like okay if she likes me and if she doesn't like me like it, it, it's kind of little it's kind of weird so i'm gonna perform it forward and i'm gonna perform it backwards it has two different meanings but um yeah it's, it's pretty cute but <laughs> <laughs> so, it's called departure i'm sorry what more can i say standing at your grave for the bouquet of yellow roses I was trapped in hypnosis, surrounded by unknown voices, attempting to rejoice with the joyous feeling of compassion. But when I saw you laying in that casket, I had an indescribable emotion. At that moment, I lost sight of what was most important when you ripped my rip cage open and took what was mine. I went in revenge, but I didn't realize the result would be us. Don, I still see your spirit floating on, shining. Do your darkness at your wake, find it hard to come to grips with the mistake I made, letting all the memories fade away into the abyss. In my sacrilegious world in which I reside, you no longer exist. This bell tolls for the ghost of the woman I love, may she rest. Here's to your departure, God bless. Here's to your departure, God bless. This bell tolls for the ghost of the woman I love, may she rest. In my sacrilegious world in which I was I, you no longer exist. Letting all the memories fade away into the abyss. Find it hard to come to grips with the mistake I made, I still see your spirit floating on. Shining. Through the darkness at your wake, I went in revenge, but I didn't realize the result would be us dying when you ripped my ribcage open and took what was mine. At that moment, I lost sight of what was most important. Seeing you in that casket, I had an indescribable emotion. Attempted to rejoice with the joyous feeling of compassion. I was trapped in hypnosis, surrounded by unknown voices, standing at your grave with bouquet yellow roses. I'm sorry. What more can I say? All right, thank you. Much love. Yo, Chris Siders, all right. Man, that was